Hi, I'm Kelly Hecker, the lead game programmer here at Art and Science Labs, and I'm going to show you how to make an augmented reality app. So making an augmented reality app is actually pretty simple if you have the right tools. But what you're going to need first is the Unity Game Engine. It's an awesome free piece of software that lets you easily make games. Uh, it has a very simple drag and drop interface that pretty much anyone can pick up. This is what it looks like once you've got it open. Next, what you're going to need is Euphoria, which is a development kit created by Qualcomm that lets you easily make augmented reality apps, and it integrates really easily with Unity. So you're also going to want to download that and make sure it's the Unity extension. So to actually start making your apps, first what you're going to need is some kind of a marker. It can pretty much be any image, but what works best are images with high contrast, uh, lots of edges, and no repetitive patterns. I'm going to use this picture of a dragon. What you do is you just add your target, give it a name, drag your picture in, you simply click the checkbox and download selected targets. So I've already got everything downloaded, I've opened up Unity, I also have a little dragon model that I just got off the internet. What you're going to want to do is go to your Unity package for Vuforia that you downloaded, it's called Vuforia Unity, and just double click on it. You want to import everything, so just hit import. Once this is done importing, you're going to go to your marker that you downloaded off of Euphoria's website. So you just double click that, and again, just import everything. So what you want to do first is add an AR camera. So you go to the Qualcomm Augmented Reality folder. Under Prefabs, you'll see AR camera. So all you do is drag that into your scene. Next, you have to add your actual marker which is an image target. So in the same folder that the AR camera was in, you see image target, just drag that up into your scene. And now you can see that the image target has the image of my marker. The next thing you want to do is go to your AR camera, and again in the right here in the inspector, we see data set load behavior. And I'm going to say go ahead and load my data set dragon and activate it. This will allow my AR camera to actually recognize my marker. And last but not least, we drag in our 3D model. In my case, it's a dragon. So I'm going to drag in my dragon. So if I want to test my app, I can go ahead and hit Run. OK, so it's done building. It automatically opens on my iPad. And so I can see the camera feed. And if I put my marker, there you have it. Got my little dragon. But as far as a simple, cool AR app to show off to your friends, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. And there you have it. That's how you build your own augmented reality app.